Good morning children. Today we shall learn about acid and base. We already know about the acid rains, the harmful air pollutants like the carbon dioxide and the other oxides etc get mixed with raindrops and form harmful substances called acid. This acid rain reduces the fertility of soil and also damages trees and the monuments. You know this acid rain is also damaging the stones of Taj Mahal, the pride of India. The same substance acid is produced by the germs by rotting the food in the teeth and then this acid decays the teeth causing cavity and thus we have tooth cavity. But when we are thinking of acid as bad, we must also know our muscles are made of proteins which is made of an acid, amino acid. Even many nutrients which are necessary for our growth and nutrition like the vitamins, fat etc. are made of acid. So, acid helps us in our growth and nutrition. So, acids are very important and Certain acids are very harmful. But what is an acid? Many kids like sour fruits like lemons, tamarind, unripe mangoes etc. Isn't it? If you like sour that means you like acidic nature of fruits. How? The sour taste is the property of acids. The chemical nature of acid is called the acidic nature. It means sour fruits have acid and those fruits are sour due to the acidic nature. The acid word comes from Latin word acidus which means sour. But you know the powerful acids can also be corrosive that is it can harm our skin and even burn our skin when it comes in contact with us. So all the acids cannot be tasted. Acids which are found naturally in the plants, animals and other living things are referred to as organic acid. For example, the citric acid in lemon, malic acid in apples, vitamin C is actually ascorbic acid. Lactic acid is in the milk. The common vinegar which we all use in food is called the acetic acid. You know, Formic acid is found in the bee and the ant sting. When an ant stings, it injects the acid into our skin and that acid causes pain to us. Few acids are not found in the living organisms. These are mineral acids as these are formed from minerals found in the nature. As these are not formed inside any living thing, Mineral acid is also called an inorganic acid. For example, the sulfuric acid or H2SO4 and nitric acid or HNO3 etc. are all the examples of mineral acids. The mineral acids are not found in the living things. Does that mean it is harmful for living things or useless to us? No, mineral acids are useful in many ways. They are used in many industries. For example, the sulfuric acid is often called the king of chemicals as it is very useful. It is used in manufacturing, car batteries, medicines, artificial silk etc. You know, sulfuric acid is also used to produce fertilizer called superphosphate. Not only sulfuric acid, few other acids are also used to make different fertilizers like the nitric acid is used to make ammonium nitrate. Hydrochloric acid is used in the cleaning processes from cleaning sink to cleaning the huge boiler in the factory it is very useful. Nitric acid is another common mineral acid as we have learnt earlier it is used to make fertilizers. It is also used by goldsmith 
to clean gold and silver ornaments. Nitric acid is heavily used in making explosives like TNT, nitroglycerin etc. These explosives are used in construction of dams, canals or in different mineral mines. Acid can cause some damages too. Is there anything that can be done to stop harmful effects of acid? What can be done about acid decaying teeth or making soil barren? Yes, while we are learning about acid, let's learn about another substance which is the enemy of acid and it is base. Acid and base are like snake and mongoose. The base cancels the acid that is base can prevent or stop acid. So what is a base? Base is also around us in our daily life just like the acid is. Base is bitter in taste and feels soapy when mixed with water and rubbed between the fingers. And when any substance has these properties, we say that substance has basic nature. For example, soap, baking soda etc. have basic nature. So, base is a substance which is exactly opposite of acid. So whenever acid is causing a problem, we introduce base to stop the acid. For example, if the acidity of soil increases somehow, like for example because of acid rains, we add quick lime to the soil to reduce acidity. Too much base in the soil is also bad. So we add organic fertilizers which produce organic acids to oppose the base. Thus, base and acid oppose each other. Hence, we can use one of them to cancel the other whenever necessary. What is the use of base? Base is used in many ways in agriculture. First of all, base is used to decrease the acidity of soil to make it fertile again. Generally, slaked lime which is calcium hydroxide is used for this. Slaked lime is also used to make pesticides. Bases like ammonium hydroxide is used to make fertilizers. Slaked lime is also used in construction for making colors, paints, etc. You know, few bases are used in medicine. For example, magnesium hydroxide is used as an antacid or a laxative. Even few easily available basic substances like the baking powder, lime etc. can be used to bring relief in acidity. Caustic soda is one of the most useful base. It is used in paper, textile industry and it is also used in manufacturing soap, detergents etc. The strong bases like the sodium hydroxide etc. are also used in metal industry, especially for extracting metals from the minerals. Besides all these, bases are heavily used in alkaline cells, food processing etc. Now you may wonder, are there substances which are neither acidic nor basic? Yes, and it is a very common one. Any guesses? Hmm, the water we drink is neither acidic nor basic. We say water is a neutral substance. Apart from water, there are many substances which are neither acidic nor basic. For example, the common salt, which is sodium chloride, and the sugar, which we use daily, is also neutral. Now, let us compare acid with the base. What is an acidic substance? Acid tastes sour. Acid changes the color of litmus paper from blue to red and most of the acids are soluble in water and their solution can carry electricity. And what are the characteristics of basic substances? A base tastes bitter. 
base feels soapy if we rub it between two fingers. The base changes color of litmus paper from red to blue and most of the bases are not soluble in water that is they are insoluble in water but the solution of base can carry electricity. What are neutral substances? Substances which are neither acidic nor basic in nature are neutral substances. So that was all about acid and bases. Bye bye children.